What is going on everybody, my name is Zark Gaming and welcome back to Portal 2. I'm gonna play single player, I didn't load the thing. Continue game. Pretty sure that will stop me from the latest save point. Hopefully. Hopefully the game won't break on me completely. <sighs> I don't know why I didn't load in. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm so unprepared for recording today. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Neurotoxin. No, I'm meant to go for that one there. I don't know why I'm not. I can't get comfortable. Where's my mouse pad? Pad thingy. Mouse mat, whatever you want to call it. Right then, on to here. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Yay! Surprise! Surprise! Supplies! Right. Comfortable. I want to get comfortable for this surprise. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. <laughs> Yay. Surprise. Yay. Yay. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. Except from. Apparently, one of the theories behind this game is, is that Ratman is Shell's father. That's one of the theories. Other theories is that her father was an employee at Aperture Science. I wonder the far up there. So what do I need to do? I need to... I can't remember what I need to do. Um, there. There. Not a bit further along. There. I need to get up there, I know that for sure. Are you still there? There we go.
Why could they just portal dive there, actually? <laughs> Completely forgot I could just portal over here. That wasn't too hard. Quite easy, actually. I remember the first time I played this level. I feel awful about that surprise. Felt it was really Tell difficult. you what. Let's give your parents a call right now. The bird parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. That's oh, evil. That's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. <laughs> That's evil. Because apparently, rumor is that you're the child. Well, Shell is the child of two other people that were tested on, or something like that. It's different rumors about it, different theories. Oh, let's hey, wait, though. How's it going? I taught my way onto the old Nanobot work crew rebuilding this show. They are really so I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. On a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. All right, five more chambers in. Let's see if it will be five more chambers. God, office game. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. I've got to take one of these with me. Oh, I remember how it's done now. Even though I could have just dropped it through, but nah. Where's the fun in that? Ouch. Where's the fun in that? Comedy equals tragedy plus time. There's not one up here. Almost completely screwed that up there. Right, I need this one here, then there's enough one up there that I need to grab. Right, 
then the next one's got to go up here. Ouch. dilemma and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us for one of both of us yeah <laughs> I do really enjoy this game but recording it so far has gone on for I think the same amount of time as the previous the first game has federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good that's right the facility is completely operational again. <laughs> I think one there, and then it was there, was it? Or was it? Um, I don't remember which wall I've got to aim at. I think it's this one. Yeah. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. Yeah, that one's too easy. I remember the first time I did that, I actually look up. A, I had to look up a walk, a walk through, to find out how to do that one. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences <laughs> and real confetti this time. The good stuff. The good Our stuff. last bag. Part of me is going to miss it, but at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. <laughs> Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! <laughs> Run! Run! Come on, I'm closing the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then control. Again, though, for the moment, run! This way, this way! The irony is you are almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. A war? How, how stupid does she think we are? Maybe I should just go over there just for the sake of it. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh look, there's a deer. You probably can't see it. Get closer. Oh yeah, dude. I, f I just felt like doing that. I felt like doing that one. Just for the sake of it. Fake plants. It's meant to trick you into thinking it's outside. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever Asmine Heim and Fan came up with. A war? How, how stupid does she think we are? Oh. Nah, the portal wouldn't stay there. I want to see if I could portal back there at some point. That'd be interesting, actually. You have to reload just this for this oh, area. Uh, I 
<laughs> God, I love where he He has no idea what the hell is going on most of the time. You okay? Great, come on. This way, this way. is how you destroy a testing facility. And enough for loading zone. Oh, I honestly don't get why there's so many loading zones. It really does bug me. Chapter 5, the escape. You made it through, well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to Where'd do. Where did come from? She can't touch us back here. Oh, okay. What's that mean? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. They told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Man. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night, you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Let's keep moving. The factory entrance must be around here somewhere. That's why I can hear them screaming then. That's where I'm going, Wheatley. Come on. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. This looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. I just fell to my death. <laughs> that isn't nicely done. That was actually very terribly done, actually. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Here's an interesting story, you might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans that the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly, just, uh, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. One thing sucks. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment. Portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, oh, okay. One of the things that I always thought is, I always thought that he was voiced by Ricky Gervais, because he sounds, Wheatley sounds a lot like him, if you think about it. I'm gonna get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look. It's great. And their 
folklore. Wonderful, very colorful. Right. Well, I'm going to take this rail down the back way. See you at the bottom. Good luck. <laughs> I love the way it's just like, see you at the bottom. Enough for loading zone? Yep. So many loading zones. Damn. Right. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. There. Turret redemption lines are not rides. Please exit the turret redemption line. Alright, here's the toilet that gives you hints about what's going to be happening next in the game. Still hints about what's coming up in the game. And off. Thanks all the time. Right, everyone. Right, everyone. Yeah. Right. Template. Response. Yeah, how you doing? Template. Response. Ah, oh, brilliant. You made Template. it through. Well done. Follow me. Response. You're going to love this. Almost there. Ta da! Only the turret control center. Thank you very much. See that scanner out there, right? Template. It's deciding which Response. turrets to keep and which to toss, and it's using that master turret there as a template. template. Now, if, if we pull out the Response. template turret, it will shut down the whole production line. Right, um, hmm. I'm going to have to hack Response. the door so that we can get at it. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Done! Hacked! Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. So I'm going to go over here, because I think you can catch them. If you're quick enough. Template. Response. Template. Response. Template. Response. I just want to give it a try, might as well. Template. Response. I'm not a magnet. I'm ridiculous. Oh my god. You saved my bank and found Here we go. Is it jailbreak? Response. Can't say a thing. I think I've got to pick one up. Anyway. I'm not response. <laughs> Template. Response. Yeah, let's do this. Response. Hello. 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 Well, that 
Should do it. Template missing. Continuing from memory. Oh, that's not it. What, what, what do you have there? I can't say thanks. It's just happened. That happened by a lot. What, what are you? Oh, brilliant. It's for that's brilliant. New template accepted. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are crap until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looked from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. This door's actually pretty complicated. No! How long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open, but it's just, in, it's just uh. mentioned in the future. Cough or something. <laughs> Alright, now, I she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Neurotoxin production, where you can't actually get to. Employee daycare centre. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realise they're children, but still, you know, low hanging fruit and all that. Fairly science, really, is it? Baking soda volcano. Well, you know, at least it's not a potato battery, I'll give it that, but it's not terrifically original, is it? You know what I mean? Not exactly primary research, even within the child sciences. Anything is possible. Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. And interesting thing is, who's this work boy? Shell. Apparently, that is going to be created by Shell, the characters that you're playing as. And the theory to back up that um, her father works at Aperture Science is because there's lot something there and underneath it's labelled as special ingredient from Dad's work. Which is probably what made the giant. Pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. I guess this is going to be enough loading zone. If it is, then I'm going to leave this episode here. Yeah, I'll leave this episode right here. So, yeah, I'll thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe for even more. Uh, check out the first video in the playlist using the little eye icon on the other side of the screen. And I'll thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.